Hello, my friends. Mr. Welsh here. Going to go through our news to you assignment for this week. Uh, this issue is about Stress Awareness Month. So, before we even start, if you have someone that's helping you with this, uh, talk with that person. Talk about what you guys think stress is before we even get into it. We'll wait. Okay. Anyway, let's get into this. Stress or one. So this is a student who is stressed. How can you tell that she's stressed by this? What in this picture shows that she's stressed? Right. It could be her hands. It could be her eyebrows. Just the look on her face in general. She looks like she's having a hard time. So... Get down here a little bit. All right. April is National Stress Awareness Month in the U.S. People can learn about stress during this month. Everyone feels stress sometimes. Stress is what you feel when you are worried or uncomfortable. So some people could be feeling stress right now. It could be something with work, it could be the all the things with the virus, it could be any number of things. It could make you feel stress, and stress is a hard thing to deal with. Different things can cause stress in your life. Things in school, such as taking a test, doing assignments, or giving a presentation can cause you stress. Things at home, like trying something new, having disagreements with other people, or having disorganized spaces can cause you stress. Right, we got a kind of a big word here, disagreement. I want you to think for a second what you think disagreement means. If you're having a disagreement with other people, what does that mean? Okay, and then disorganized. If you have a disorganized space, what does that mean? We know what organized means. Organized means a nice clean space. What would disorganized mean? Okay, changes to your usual schedule in school or at home can cause you stress too. We're all going through really big changes right now with our school schedule and our home schedule. So that's bound to cause some stress for somebody. Okay, this young man here, a boy feeling lonely. Do you think feeling lonely could cause you to feel stressed? Think about that for a second. Okay, stress can affect your mind and body. Stress can change how you usually feel. You may feel more sad, mad, frustrated, nervous, lonely, or scared than you usually do. You may feel less happy or excited. You may have a headache or a stomach ache too. You know, sometimes when people feel nervous or they feel stressed, they say they have butterflies in their stomach. That's kind of what they mean by a stomach ache with this. It just kind of makes you not feel good. You can tell you're, you're stressed, you're anxious. You may not sleep well when you feel stress, so you may feel more tired than you usually do. Sometimes you may sleep more when you feel stress. Some people eat less food when they feel stress, but other people eat more when they feel stress. So everybody's reaction to stress is going to be different. One person may, you know, be up all night and not sleep, and one person may sleep till noon. One person may not feel well when they're stressed and don't want to eat, and another person may want to raid the junk food cabinet. Every person's reaction is different. There's no right or wrong way to react. It's just everybody's different. Okay, we've got two pictures here. We have a young lady exercising. She's outside, going for a run, it looks like. And then this young lady over here is choosing a nice, leafy, green, healthy salad. Okay. People can do activities to feel less stress. You can find what works best for you. 
You can do your favorite kind of exercise, such as playing a sport. You can get enough sleep each night. You can eat healthy foods. You can do something that makes you happy, such as playing with your pet. Other people can help too. You can talk to someone such as a friend, parent, teacher, or school counselor. Now they listed a whole bunch of things here that you could do to handle your stress. If, you're, if someone's helping you right now, or even just to yourself, take a look at these things in this section here and talk to your, either to yourself or someone that's helping you. Talk to them about things that you think would work for you to feel less stressed if you're feeling stressed or anxious. Or maybe ask them what would work for them if they're feeling stressed or anxious. Okay, most schools have counselors who can talk to you about stress and can give you ideas for things you can do to feel better. Does your school have a counselor? Now we have a counselor for our programs. Do you guys know who that is? Right, for us that would be Mrs. Mackey. Mrs. Mackey is available to talk to us if we need help or she runs the groups. She's a great resource. This is a girl talking to her friend. How do we think this young lady in the pink shirt feels? Just based on how she looks, how do you think she feels? Okay, so everyone feels stress sometimes. Some people may feel more stress than others. You can help other people who feel stress. If your friends classmates and siblings seem like they are feeling stress, you can invite them to talk to you. You can listen to them talk about how their stress makes them feel. You can do fun activities with them to help them feel less stress. So it's really important that if, you f if you're feeling stressed, it's really important that you realize that there's a lot of people around you in your family, in your school, people that care about you very much and they're people that are willing to help you whenever you need it. And that goes, we're all such nice people, it goes the other way too. If we know someone that's feeling stressed, we should be willing to ask for ask them if they you know, want someone to talk to or be there to listen. Now they may say no, but they know, they'll know that you care just by asking. So National Stress Aware, Awareness Month is April in the US. This month is a good time to learn more about stress and how to feel less stress. What do you do when you feel stress? I know I can speak for my own self. Personally, when I'm able to, I like to exercise if I feel stress or even just going for a walk, being outside, something calm and peaceful. That helps me calm down. All right, so now, normally we would use this review page to go through our questions, but Mr. Welsh made one. It's all the same questions, but he made his own. So we're gonna go now into the class portal to explain how we can get this done. We're gonna use our demo class again, which is going to be the exact same thing you guys are going to see. This is the parent version. You know, here's four minutes ago, Mr. Welsh posted this, the questions for news to you about stress. And then we go to the student section. Oh, there we go, same thing. Four minutes ago, Mr. Welsh posted this assignment. Great. So we're going to click on our Word document. It's going to ask us to open it. Here we go. We're going to enable editing if you have to. And here we go. Now, I want to go through this because it's kind of funky how we're going to answer this. For the multiple choice questions, like this, like number one, we're going to do what we did for our other, for our other assignment yesterday. We're just going, if, this, if B isn't the answer, I'm not saying it is, it isn't, but if you think it's not, you're just going to highlight it and hit backspace and it's going to be deleted. Okay. And don't worry about the letters changing. I know what the answer is for the true or false questions. We're going to do the same thing. If you think this one is false, then we're going to highlight true hit backspace. So that false is the one that remains. For the open response questions, what can affect your mind and body and who can you talk to about stress? We're just going to type our answer in. Okay? 
answer. And the same thing for number six. For the yes and no questions, these are taking the place of the questions that we fill in the circles for. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the true and false. If you think this is no, then we're going to highlight yes and or and backspace. That's all that's left is no. And then when we get down to the factor opinion, same thing. If you think this one's fact, we're going to highlight the or in the opinion, hit backspace so that only fact remains. Once we're done with that, we're going to highlight everything like we've been doing. We're going to right click and we're going to hit copy. Then we're going to go into our student portal where we have a nice to do about news to you. We're going to start, brings us to that document again. We're going to right click, we're going to select paste, and there are our answers. See, for the first factor opinion, we got rid of the opinion, so just the fact. And then when we're done, we go to the top, we select hand in, and that is how we are going to hand in our news to you for this week.